Hi, I'm going to talk about how we can create animation in Civil 3D and I've got an example um, and two views, uh, one view showing uh, the top of the model and the other view is showing a 3D uh, view. Also, I've got in this drawing some additional uh, multi-view blocks uh, like buildings, uh, trees, uh, street lighting, uh, even some cars uh, to make the view uh, looks uh, looks better and once you got uh, the uh, finished ground surface and existing ground surface uh, ready uh, also the uh, corridors uh, defined it will be easy to create the animation first of all I'm going to choose to change the view in in the current viewport uh, so I'll go to view and we'll select rendering it looks much better 3d visualization or you can create an animation you need first to define a path for that animation uh, to follow like a camera uh, that will uh, shoot uh, from the side so the first thing i want to do is to make an offset for the existing alignments uh, so i can use that to create the uh, path for the camera so i'll type in offset enter and select the distance to be let's say um, three feet and then select the alignment and click in uh, uh, another location and the offset as we can see the offset has been created now i uh, want to convert that line because uh, once it's been created if i type the properties pr enter you uh, notice it's a polyline and typically this is a 2d polyline but we need it as a 3d polyline so what i'll do is uh, i'll go to uh, modify uh, ribbon and from the edit elevation i will select uh, this uh, option uh, or this command elevations from surface um, once I click on it uh, the set elevations from surface uh, wizard will appear i will select that as uh, the finished ground uh, uh, final and will select insert uh, immediate grade break points and will leave this uh, uh, inactive or deactive so and then click ok it will ask uh, me select object so which is this uh, polyline now uh, i will do enter what happened is that the polyline is converted into a 3D, uh, from 2D to a 3D polyline, and it is now following the finished ground level, which will help in uh, the movement of the camera over, you know, the design uh, profile of the road. Now I want to elevate that line, the camera line, let's say, let's call it, or the path for the camera, uh, to be elevated on top of the surface. So. You know imagine that you need the camera at a certain height so you can shot uh, the the uh, road uh, properly so what i'll do is um, i'll uh, use the move command so i'll type m enter and select the uh, alignment that we created or the path and enter again uh, it will ask me to select a base point so what i'll choose is displacement so i'll um, select the x displacement is zero uh, y displacement zero and the z displacement i will elevate this uh, using 20 uh, feet from the uh, finished road level i'm ready to do the animation uh, first of all i need to go to this uh, view uh, port uh, that has the 3d uh, model in it and we'll type a command uh, called any uh, path enter the uh, motion uh, path animation wizard will appear uh, which will set up the camera uh, requirements and the resolution for the movie that we are creating uh, so for the camera uh, it's set to link camera to path and i've got the path already so i'll click on that uh, icon and select uh, sorry uh, select the path uh, from here um, it will ask me to give uh, the path a name you can call it road one road two whatever but i'll keep it as path one um, and then the target link target to path again uh, you can uh, select path one uh, as, as a target 
or you can select it as as none so the camera ca can be uh, sh um, uh, capturing the straight view for the animation settings frame rate uh, fps i'll keep it as 30 uh, i could increase the number of frames for example to 100 um, and then the duration uh, uh, per second uh, uh, let's have it as four seconds um, visual style i'll keep it as displayed uh, uh, which is uh, what's displayed here and the format so t basically we are creating a movie so we need to specify the type uh, of the file or the format of the file uh, will be created i can uh, choose avi for example and then we need to define the resolution uh, the more uh, the, the higher the resolution it will take more time to create the movie uh, file um, and I will deselect corner deceleration. Um, uh, the good thing about the animation that you have a, a button here preview, so you could do a preview of the video uh, or the movie before you create it. Click on preview. You can see there's a camera here is moving along the path uh, which will go all the way along the path and then uh, and then will show the the movie uh, animation preview will uh, appear after the camera uh, has passed along the whole uh, path and then i could i could just click play Once the animation is finished, I will click close. It will return back to the motion path animation wizard. Um, now I can just click OK and it will prompt me to uh, uh, a location where I need to save uh, the uh, AVI uh, uh, movie uh, file. Um, and yeah, select the location and click save and it will uh, save that file for you i've got that file uh, uh, saved and will be uh, sharing that uh, so once it's finished the avfi file can be shared you know with your client or other members of the uh, team or anyone uh, you'd like to share your uh, new design with or the animation to um so yeah civil 3d makes it easy uh, to create uh, that animation and share it with everybody. I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching.